So today's the day that I am leaving the CNO and going to the Great Allegheny Passage, which begins right there at that blue sign. But while I'm right here, there is a bicycle store called Trump Cumberland Trail Connection, right? And they are a really cool store. When you come down the trail, the CNO, which is right there, the uh, Cumberland Trail Connection is right on the trail, which is cool. And here's something that's nice. They have Wi-Fi and email ad access. You don't often see that except on a bicycle store that caters to a lot of bicycle tourists. So I'm giving the uh, Cumberland Trail Connection a big thumbs By the up. Way, one more thing about the Cumberland Trail Connection. They have they're fully stocked with pretty much any kind of camping gear that you have. They have Wi-Fi, but they're also <laughs> home brewers and they've got a couple of batches brewing in the back room they let me go back there and check that out so Cumberland Trail so Connection. I'm riding down the uh, last few probably the last 200 feet here of the uh, CNO canal towpath it's pretty nice and uh, I uh, am going to start right here at the uh, Great Allegheny Passage which begins right under this sign and there's a marker for it right under this sign. So I'm right here under the sign and uh, there's a marker right here. I actually showed a picture of it. It's uh, mile marker zero for the Great Allegheny Passage. The gap goes this way and the CNO trail goes that way. So here I am. Headed on the gap. So I'm on the Gap, my first uh, vlog from the Gap, and uh, I guess I'm about four or five miles uh, to the north of the town of Cumberland, and with me, I'm riding up to Frostburg with, I hope you're in there, with Charlie, who I met on, uh, who's on my previous video. So uh, we only have a 15 or 16 mile ride. It's, uh, I think the surface of the trail is uh, pretty nice. It's uh, much smaller gravel. It's more finely packed. And uh, we're climbing out of Cumberland here, following the scenic Western Maryland Railroad. And say hi, Charlie. Hello. So I'm, uh, me and Charlie here, <laughs> I better show you. We're uh, just entering the uh, brush tunnel. The nice thing about the brush tunnel is, it's uh, built in 1911, but the nice thing is, is it's only about a thousand foot long, there's a paved path through it, and there's lighting. So there's really no need to, uh, although I should have taken my sunglasses off. <laughs> There's uh, really no need to uh, get your flashlight out or put your jacket on, it's just not that long. So I'm here at uh, 
mile marker 15 on the gap in the Great Allegheny Passage. Uh, this is where the town of Frostburg is, and Cumberland is 15 miles to the south. I'm riding with uh, Charlie. Charlie's about a mile behind me, and uh, I just wanted to hurry up into town. I'm going to be staying at one of the, uh, I think it's called Trailside Inn and in B&B. They have a campground, and that's where I'm going to be looking to stay. And uh, I'm hungry for lunch. So I'm going to continue. I think it's only about a quarter of a mile from here. And uh, go find something to eat. And meet up with Charlie. And here's what the gap looks like. The gravel is a lot I think finer. It's uh, a little bit easier riding. It isn't, uh, you know, the CNO is kind of more through a tunnel, a green tunnel of trees. And uh, this is more open. For the most part, it follows a railroad, and uh, the ride from Cumberland up to here is uh, a constant climb of about a percent and a half to two percent, and uh, I think it's 15 miles in a elevation gain of 12 or 1300 feet over that course, but very, very steady. Anyway, let's hit Frostburg. So here's the gap. Coming down through here, and this is the Welcome to Frostburg. And it has a little sign that has a listing of all the businesses in town. And it's only a half a mile away, but it's a half a up a mile away. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is going to be Frostburg. Let's go take a look at it. So I was just down in the uh, at the little welcome sign right there. And there's the gap right there and then right here there's a bicycle path that comes up a series of switchbacks all the way you can see right to where I'm going up to the top of the hill here just to make it a little easier for bicyclists instead of going up that probably 10% uh, grade knocked it down to about 6% so right here at the end of uh, the top of this hill is the trail in and uh, they have a campground right behind it. It actually is up on a pretty steep hill but uh, it's uh, $15 a night. They have very good Wi-Fi and supposedly, haven't seen it yet, but uh, a good uh, bathroom, shower and laundry facilities. So we'll see about that in just a minute. So here it is in Frostburg, the trail in. So I'm in uh, town of Frostburg, and uh, one thing you know about Frostburg, it's built on the side of a mountain, so it's everything is up and down. Uh, so uh, I came here to uh, Mountain City Coffee House and Creamery. They have excellent coffee, and I consider myself a coffee snob. Excellent coffee and uh, good Wi-Fi. 